Visual mode allows you to perform editing tasks on selected portions of text. There are various visual commands to select text of interest. You can also use your mouse to select desired portions. First, let us see about the V command. This is lowercase v. Selects the current character and you can use motion commands to extend the selection. So for example, the cursor is on the H character and I am going to press lowercase v. You can see this is in visual mode and the current character is selected. If I use a motion command, for example, E, it should extend the selection till end of the word. You can continue to apply motion commands. For example, if I use J, it should go down. And if I press J again, it will go another line down. I can also go back. So if I use K, so you can see from the starting character, it has gone above. Let us see another example. This time we'll use fixed object. So if I use V I P, it should visually select the entire paragraph. You can use the escape key to go out of the visual mode and come back to normal mode. The uppercase V command visually selects the entire line. So let us see. I am going to use uppercase V. So you can see the entire line has been visually selected. And you can also notice the command line area shows visual line. Again, you can use motion commands to extend. So for example, if I use K, it should go above and so on. We will see another example. So cursor is on this line. I am going to press uppercase V. And now I am going to press GG. So it should select till start of the file. Let's press escape and go back. Next. Let us see how to visually select columns. So you need to press Ctrl and lowercase v to start the visual block. The cursor is here and I am going to press Ctrl v. You can see it starts a visual block. And now we can use motion commands. So for example, I'll press 3L to go to the right by three characters. Total four characters are selected. And now, if I use 4J, it should go down four lines. So, total five lines. So, you can see 5 into 4. So, five lines and four characters. This is a visual block. I'll press escape. You can also select using mouse and then press Ctrl V. So let's say I want a visual block from this character till this character. So I don't have to count how many characters are needed. So from here and just select till this point. So mouse by default selects in visual mode. And now if I use Ctrl V, should convert this selection to visual block. So control V. You can see changes to visual block. Let's press escape. If you use GV, it selects the previously highlighted visual area. So if I use GV, it should show me the previous block. So GV, this was our previous visual selection. Let's see another example. I selected this portion. And now if I use GV, it should show that portion again. Next, let us see this handy O and uppercase O commands. So the lowercase O moves the cursor to the diagonally opposite corner of a visual selection. So for example, this is my selection. 
and if I use O, it should move to the diagonally opposite corner. So I'm going to press O. So you can see it goes back and forth between the diagonally opposite corners. The uppercase O version moves the cursor to other corner of the current line in visual block selection only. So let us select a visual block. If I use lowercase o, it should move to the diagonally opposite corner. Now, if I use uppercase o, it should move to the corner of the current line. So it should move to this location. I'm going to use uppercase o. And now, if I use lowercase o, it should move to this corner since this is the diagonally opposite corner. I'm going to press O. Let's escape. Continuing with visual block. If you press dollar, it will select until the end of the lines for the selected area, even if the lines have different number of characters. So for example, I'm going to press control V and I'm just going to move three lines down. And now if I use dollar, it should select till end of the lines. So dollar. So you can see, even though the lines are uneven in terms of number of characters, dollar takes care of appropriately selecting till end of the lines. This will continue even if you extend the selection with further motion commands. So if I press J, it should select till end of this line and so on.